Well, I thought I'd say a little bit about what I learned from Tom. And the first thing I learned was how to write a textbook. Uh, a text should really excite imagination, should generate curiosity, and also cover the field. And I'd only known about the last thing, uh, and I learned from him that uh, really you have to do those other two things, and they're the most important. Learned some things in research from him, too. Uh, I think all of us have learned a great deal from Tom, uh, and I've learned uh, as much as anyone, I think. Tom did his research, of course, as many people have said, in information theory, statistics, portfolio theory, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. He was a master of many fields. He used to like to say things about all of them. Uh, he really showed that uh, stimulating imagination uh, and, um, and having fun were really the most important things in doing research. Now, how can that be true? Because most of us think that when we're doing research, we should do useful things that have something to do with something. Well, research is really a community effort. Uh, when you're doing research, fads develop in the community. They crash eventually when everybody gets absolutely sick of them. Progress gets made. Complexity goes up. The complexity of the work goes up. Uh, the computational complexity might go down, but that's not important. Uh, uh, as progress gets made, people solve the n equals 1 case, the n equals 2 case, the n equals 3 case, uh, and they keep on going. Uh, and, uh, but every once in a while, in this community of researchers, something really elegant occurs. It's beautiful. It's surprising. It's fascinating. And Tom's work always fell in this final category, or almost always did. Uh, and this is most important, to do work which interests other people, interests yourself. Uh, it's the kind of thing which takes a little piece of your brain, and at a certain point, you see what's going on and switch. It gets twisted around, and it stays that way, and the community has the same switch, and that stays that way, and real progress is made. Somebody solves a very hard problem, uh, does uh, a really hard theorem or something, and not that much progress occurs. Some, some progress, and it's famous, but the thing which really changes research is these beautiful things that get done. Okay, with all of that, uh, I want to make a charge to all of us, because Tom was the one who was really best at doing these highly creative things. Uh, as someone else said, he was second only to Claude Shannon in this, I believe, in this doing things that were fun, that were fascinating, that surprised people, that turned their minds around. And the charge to all of us is think a little bit about the outrageous. Admire some simple and elegant result that somebody else does every once in a while. Spread curiosity about something different, the same way that Tom did. He was always getting into people's curiosity, getting them fascinated by something. Lighten up a little bit. And if we do that, then we'll still have Tom amongst us. We'll have a distributed Tom Cover, and that's really neat. Thank you. <laughs>